Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Bros. 3 with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy A Puggy. So we're on to World 3, which is our water world, and um, that's probably one of my favourite water themes in the Mario series, more so than in uh, Super Mario Bros. 1. It's stuck in my head. And uh, yeah, what you think they start off as your typical uh, underwater level, like in Super Mario Bros. 1, no. Um, there are some strong undercurrents, yes, but this is a lot more expansive than in Super Mario Bros. 1. In addition, it seems the fire plants from Super Mario Bros. 2 are back, but this time they're underwater and launch their fireballs a lot slower as well. And the bloopers seemingly have children! Yes, seriously, that is a thing in this game. And that makes them a lot more annoying than they were in the first game. Seriously. But... Um, first underwater level isn't too bad, honestly. Wait until we get the frog suit. And I will be doing that a bit later, but for now, no. Anyway, as for this level, this introduces, I don't know if this is Big Bertha or Boss Bass, but it's a giant cheap cheap who will eat you if you're not careful. So you don't want to stay too long in the water. At the moment, it's fine. There are smaller cheap cheeps, but... Uh, nothing too annoying. Um, as I say, if I had got that fire flower, yeah, that would have been awesome. But yeah, let's try that again. Honestly, the cheap cheats are a lot more vicious in this game than they were in Super Mario Brothers 1. They just jump out of the water. This time they're biding their time before they jump out of the water. So yeah, you can understand why I want the fire flower. But seriously. But, uh, Easy come, easy go, I guess. Okay. Is this gonna be like Doctor Strange again? Like this one's set in stone? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, never mind. Get out of the water. Okay, is this the level with Big Bertha? I, I do want to know, actually. Getting out of the water's a pain in the ass because uh, Mario just bobs in and out when you're trying to do that, seriously. Uh, no, we do not have to do that. I think to get out of the water, you have to press the B button. No, I know that. I know that you have to do that. Uh, to get out of the water. So, yeah. Unfortunately, Mario's, um... Ability to jump out of the water is not as great as his ability to jump off platforms. Oh, no, it isn't. So... Yeah. And that's the downside to being in the water. Who cannot jump through platforms. It's not like the Kirby games, as I say. No. Yeah, I should have just stirred on that. And what else? Ah, uh, platform there. Seriously. Yeah, I am glad I... No, I'm not glad, but... Yeah. Holding on to the um, uh, fire flower is a must, I think, here because of uh, the just the sheer amount of enemies is here. So here is where the level ends. Yeah, I thought it might be Big Bertha's level. It's not. So yeah, and a few one-ups as well. I'm not going to complain about that. So now we have a Toad House and level three. So Toad House, I've already gone over. So houses, plural, but uh, yeah, let's get that open. And there's our first frog suit, which is very good for underwater levels. I'll get to that in a moment if we go to an underwater level. Um, this is not underwater, but we do uh, come across either Big Bertha or Boss Bass or whatever she's called. Uh, so yeah, um, basically the water level's going up and down here. All you have to do is try and stay above the water. Otherwise, you'll get become cheap, cheap food. Seriously. And keep in mind that um, um, your fire flower does actually kill your Big Bertha, but only for a short, um, uh, but only for a short period of time before she comes back. Seriously, that is annoying. Goodness for the uh, existence of the fire flower in this stage. So I am now stuck. Seriously. Other than that, there's also these annoying spinny platforms, which 
Making things a hell of a lot harder when you're trying to avoid falling into the water. Yeah. Um, let's see, does this go anywhere? Go to another area, and actually to the end of the level. Now I do know that Super Mario Bros. 3 does have secret levels and warps. Um, so yeah, it might not have been the first Mario game to do uh, like secret levels and warps, but it was the first one to make it on on the map, dare I say, because um, Super Mario Bros. 1 did not have maps. Anyway, in this fortress we are dealing with various thwomps and a, I guess a door puzzle. Um, so yeah, because what we have to do is go through the correct door. And if you go through the wrong one, you'll end up in this room with this uh, water here, so yeah. So you do get um, a super leaf from one of these uh, things, so that isn't too bad. Um, if you fail, you just emerge through um, uh, the pipe and go on, as I say. The door we have to actually go through, um, let's see, because there are a bunch of booze and dry bones, is actually this one, and head up to this door, which will take us to where Boom Boom is, seriously. So what about this Boom Boom then? Does he, he has the ability to fly, which if I didn't have the super leaf would be, well I don't now, but even then, yeah, very annoying. And no, don't back me into a corner. Never back me into a corner because that will not do. In addition, trying to keep up with his speed is quite annoying uh, because there is a somewhat of a delay with the super leaf and everything. So it's very hard to float down onto the um, boss there. But never mind, let's get to the next um, area. A couple more hammer bros, of course. Again, nothing too hard, since I know how to deal with the Hammer Bros. But never mind that, let's uh, see where we go to next. Now you will see there, there is a rock. This is what the Hammer item is for, just breaking the rocks. It doesn't give Mario the Hammer Bro power up or anything like that, sadly. I wish he did, to be honest, that would be awesome, but no it doesn't. And I suck at these puzzles, seriously. But they don't take me very long, so I'm leaving them in. Okay, and um, I think I do actually have a second one. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, that just takes me back to the thing. Uh, that little, um, what looks like an Ace of Spades or whatever, that is um, actually another mini game that we will see. But I'm not going to do it now. No, I'm not. I'm just going to go through this level. And uh, go through here. And oh boy, this one requires... It. Well, no, it doesn't require run-up because there is this. There is actually the um, uh, addition of the um, um, thing there. Seriously. So, yeah. I want to get over you. No, I want to get over you! This, that just sounds wrong. Uh, so let's get over the gap and jump up. Seriously, because that works. And apparently the Paragoombas now drop their offspring on you. Which makes it very hard for Mario to jump. Of course. Of course it does. Yeah, the Mini Goombas aren't a thing here. They just surround Mario and affect his ability to jump, that's it. Seriously. Uh, though it is very annoying after this uh, one bit there. Apparently the uh, Paragoon was just stopped. Seriously. Seriously. Also it's colored a bit more uh, orange color rather than the usual red of the Paragoombas in this game, but never mind. Fire Flower, if I can get it. I don't think I can because of where it is there. There we go. So, yeah. And beyond here is more of this, of course. And, oh god, more um, Lackey 2s. They behave the same. I think you can get on their clouds, however. 
uh, in this game, which you could not do in Super Mario Bros. 1 or in the Lost Levels, so uh, yay. Uh, so let's go to World 5. Another underwater level, and we are dealing with, uh, with these annoying jellyfish, which are not bloopers. And what do you know, Big Bertha's down here as well. Uh, she will re um, spawn her um, offspring as well. Seriously. At least I do have the fire flower. Well, I did until that one blooper decided to be a smart ass about it. Seriously. Well, never mind. Um, yeah. And that's what happens when you touch a fire flower in this game. Seriously. You just um, get the effects of a super shroom instead. No, if there's anything I do not like about any 2D platformers, it is being backed into a corner. Seriously, you saw that with the Boom Boom fight a bit earlier in this episode. Seriously. I will actually die here, but... Okay, no, I won't die! I, I thought that would be a good chance to use the uh, frog suit, but no! Apparently I don't want to do that! Which is a shame, because uh, we'll see why. Uh, but yeah. And no, I do not want to... What would a baby blooper have with me anyway? Seriously. It's not just that, it's also the big cheap jeeps here as well. But never mind, let's go over here and say... I think this is... Okay, no, it's not. I thought that, that platform moved, but it doesn't. Never mind. And then, uh, one up. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to say, so I'll just go with that. Um, okay, so what do we have here? Kind of boxed in here, so that leaves us having to use the uh, um, pipes to, in order to get around. So yeah, that I believe is one that goes back, so we don't want to take that one. Let's take the lower right one, and that takes us, um, let's see, over to this area, which has a locked gate. Okay, maybe the other one was the right one. I don't know. Let's see if I was right. Because it looked like we were going backwards. But then again, that other one was taking us forwards only to, to a locked gate and whatnot. So, yeah. Okay, so this is taking us back to where we were. So, uh, not, still not great. But at least we can go over to a couple of the other levels. So, that's good. Let's see then. I am going to use a, um, dare I say, uh, a super leaf here. And good thing I did. This is another auto scrolling level. Um, with the spinny platforms, uh, need I add? Seriously. Um, so yeah. And even when it wasn't spinning, it was like a delayed effect there. Seriously. Again, with the super leaf, at least I can float down to the um, other. Um, platforms there and also gain a few more coins thanks to the Cooper shell but uh, yeah have I gone over the I don't know if I have uh, no those are not the blue blocks but we'll get to them um, yeah without the super leaf this would have been a lot harder I still don't want to leave it either so there's that okay so I'm maybe oh no I'm on need to do a run up, a run -up which is good because yeah. By the way, those blue blocks will become a lot more uh, used, shall we say, in this game a bit later on. Just warning you, because they're very tough to use. Okay, so where does this pipe take us? It takes us on under here and to the end of the level. Yeah. Well, never mind. And with that done, uh, I think I'll do level 7, yes. So what do we have here? Well, we have the first appearance, believe it or not, of spikes in this game. These enemies will um, uh, throw rocks at you, basically. Spikes rocks, of course. So yeah, so you don't want to jump on them while they're holding up or throwing their spiked balls, basically. Yes, I know that sounds wrong, but um, that's what they do. So let's go up here and uh, go past you and knock him out. Other than that, death. 
I don't want to die to an enemy like that. Okay, and what? What? Also, the spike spin, okay. I know there was a sort of thing with, like, the new Super Mario Brothers games with the bar thing. I can't even do the bar thing, so I, that's all I'm going to refer to it as. Uh, with enemies dancing, but honestly... No, don't touch their side. Touching their side, not a good idea. Definitely not a good idea. So go through here, and... That was a tight squeeze. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!